Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boats TV. And I know that boats have been hard to come by this year, uh, especially for us, but we just got in one of my absolute favorite bass boats of all time, which is made by Gambler. It's a GT183. So we're gonna take a look at the outside, jump inside and finish up, and that'll be it. Let's get started in 30 seconds. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here, Hi, Brady. Hi, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time. So to stay up on everything we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. All right, taking a hard look at the exterior, we have a 150 Mercury Black Max. And this bad boy runs loaded full of gas, two big heavy hillbillies in it. In the mid to upper 80s, which is absolutely crazy. So the gel coat on this thing looks great. Now sure, it's 91. It's going to have a few little spots here and there. But look at the shine. I can't even see it so bright brush my teeth in this thing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Rub rails in good shape. Holes in good shape. All the carpets nice. Trailer's good. Coming up here and taking a look at the stem. Normally they're all just eating up up here. See this is gorgeous. Dropping down whole side starboard side so our lifting strakes are awesome. The keel's great. It's got a keel guard on it. Now normally a lot of guys would say like well, it's got a keel guard, so is that hiding something? No, it wouldn't have it. I mean, sometimes, but it wouldn't, the rest of the hull wouldn't be so friggin' nice and then have a keel guard on it. You see what I'm saying? Like, there'd be some pretty nasty something or others up here. There is like one small chip that looks like a, like a little homemade repair right there. But taking a look at the port side, Joe Coat. This is a dual console model. Trailer's ready to go down the highway, the lights work, all that good stuff. See where something's been sanded back in here. But look, the transom's nice, it's got the jack plate on it. 150 XR4, that's how you know it's good. Let's look at the interior. Tran all right, the inside of this thing is gorgeous. So back here we have a 32 gallon fuel tank, trolling motor batteries are over here, and they're relatively new, starter batteries on this side. We have a live well, a cooler underneath this seat, and another live well. The only thing that a guy may want to do or leave alone is this captain seat's original. So, I mean, it's a little wore out the bottom. But hell, fish don't give a dad gum. Awesome steering wheel. Look how pretty the gauges are. You can always tell when boats been, like, cared for well, stored inside. And this thing comes with a brand new $2,500 travel cover that has gambler sewn right on it. I don't know much about this fish find, these, this hummingbird KVD, but it looks cool. Okay. Teak wood's in nice shape on the side glove box here. Mm -hmm. Got storage in there, and it's not nasty inside of it. Got grab handles. People that go for a test drive with me, because this baby will fly and we'll give her hell. Great big, huge storage compartment here. See there? Then you got places to slide your rods and store them up here, up here. And you got more storage on each side. This is a huge casting deck up here. So if you got kids like I do that are always running up to see what you're catching, at least you got enough room in here not to knock them over. The back one's a little smaller, but it's still good size. So we have a 70 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor here. We can control like our trim and stuff like that from here. Another look at this fish finder, Hummingbird KVD 859 sonar GPS down imaging. Sounds fancy, as something. But top caps in good shape. Looking at all the gunnels, just love this boat. Like I said, Gambler's one of my favorite bass boats ever, and hopefully you can tell like these classics. They just don't show their age. It's awesome. Well, let's flip this around. It's my pretty microphone. It's probably gonna get noisy. I'm sorry it's so windy. Thanks so much for looking at the boat. If you have any questions, just give me a text. Thanks for looking. We'll see you on the water. Just a good old boy.